Welcome back. We want to remind you, coming up tomorrow, the Farmers Union Insurance Bison football pregame show. It's an hour long. Kicks off at noon tomorrow because it's homecoming weekend. That means that at 1 o'clock is kickoff. It is going to be a doozy of a football game. Folks, as we all know, this is the rivalry. It is a slugfest. Every time these guys go head-to-head, -head, especially in the Dome, you and I, the Panthers, versus NDSU. Join us now, the voice of the NDSU Bison on 1660, Jeff Colhane. Did I do that okay right there, that setup? Like, I love your voice, man. I wish you I could have your voice. No, no. Kind of like, you, the you Bison no, versus no. you and I. You're, you're all over it. It's great <laughs> to be here, Chris. So How what should you? we be looking for tomorrow, man? Well, I think it's going to be uh, as you laid out. It's, uh, it's a game where both of these teams uh, don't like each other a whole lot. There's certainly a rivalry-type feel to it. And there's a different energy uh, to this football game. Northern Iowa comes in. They've got a great defensive front. The Bison, of course, want to run the football. Uh, and redshirt freshman quarterback Trey Lance has been outstanding so far this season. So it uh, should be a, an emotional game for homecoming in the Dome. So Farley is a defensive minded guy, the coach for, for yeah. you and I, for those of you that don't follow this maybe as much as Jeff and I do. But defensive minded guy, uh, you said, you know, redshirt freshman quarterback. What, what can we see out of you and I tomorrow? They're always physical, they got some speed. Yeah, you know, I, I think. You know, an offense, uh, you mentioned, redshirt freshman quarterback Will McElvain has done uh, a really good job of stepping in and taking over for their previous quarterback, Eli Dunn. He's a dual threat type of guy, moves around the pocket quite a bit, and does a really good job. Uh, he's thrown the football very well. He protects the football well. Eight touchdowns to one interception on the season. And he's got a really good core of wide receivers, uh, led by Isaiah Weston, Jalen James, and, and their slot guy, shifty guy, Deion McShane. So offensively, They've wanted to run the football in the past. You know, David Johnson with the Arizona Cardinals right now, uh, an elite level player at, at the FCS level. Uh, but they're a team that's going to rely on the quarterback, Will McIlvain, to make some plays. Any, anything going on tomorrow? I mean, it's homecoming. There's always some nice festivities. What's happening? Yeah, you know, the, the, the weather obviously has thrown a little bit of a wrench <laughs> into some of the, uh, the activities. But, you know, I, I can tell you today, Hall of Fame induction uh, yeah. for the 48th uh, class of the Bison Athletics Hall of Fame. That's always very exciting for those folks that are honored there. Uh, that's over the noon hour today, 11.30 a.m. at the, uh, the Shields Center inside the Sanford Health Athletic Complex. So tomorrow it's football. And uh, regardless of the weather, as everybody knows, uh, Bison Nation will show up and uh, Thunder Alley will be rowdy again. Should be a great crowd uh, for Northern Ireland. So Alley. what's the game plan for Trey Lance tomorrow? Just throw it deep and throw it off? In, I, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I think we I can love do that. that. Should we throw, put that in yeah. Tyler Rolls here, the I offensive think we coordinator? Should. Yeah. Uh, keep doing what he's doing. I mean, don't change a thing, right? 12 touchdowns, zero interceptions. He's taking care of the football. He'll have to take care of the football again uh, tomorrow because That's Northern what I'm saying. I mean, do you think sack. Farley gets after him? Because, oh, I mean, yeah. he's basically stood back there and hasn't even had dust on his yeah. jersey up to yeah, this point. I think they do. You know, Ellerson Smith, their defensive end, 6'6", 230 out of Minneapolis, Minneapolis South High School. He leads the FCS in sacks, leads the, oh. the Valley in sacks, obviously, and tackles for loss. They've got a really good defensive front. They've made things difficult on teams running the football. So they'll try and take away the run, Chris, and I think should we try and force Trey into some mistakes. Should we do a little ESPN here? Do you want to demonstrate his swim move for us real quick? Or? <laughs> That's you, right? <laughs> Fighting Chris Bergs, Northern Iowa, right? Exactly, yeah. man. See, this is I'll, the guy I'll doing demonstrate it. the swim yeah. move, and you can be the quarterback. So uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, we're, we're excited about the game tomorrow, and then for folks that are looking for a little bit more on the radio side, Monday nights, <laughs> 6.30 to 8 p.m., you can hear from the head coach each and every week on the Bison Football Radio Show with Matt Entz. 6.30 and, to 8 on Bison 16. And Jeff is so humble. You may not have him this week. I don't know. But last time you were in, you said, hey, every week I'm going to have... Do you remember what you told me? I don't. Easton Stick. Do you got oh, Easton yes. Stick today? Yes. We oh, he's like, him. oh, yeah, we, I just have the Chargers key no, on no. my show. Every, every Tuesday we also have Easton out. Every we, Tuesday, yeah, okay. In uh, Carson, California at the Chargers Complex, their facility, and we, we do. Uh, Easton's such a great guy, and learning it, learning his way as a rookie in the National Football League and and doing a great job under Philip Rivers. Did you see he has family. his own bobblehead now? Oh, yeah. You, well, yeah. I, you got one of those? I, I think Lisa does, but you Lisa, need to get you one, one? For, your, for your studio, Lisa, man. You yeah. Fire it up. Yeah. It's always great to see you, man. You too. Great call tomorrow. Thanks, Chris. Game. Appreciate it. I want to remind you as well, uh, so again, noon tomorrow, the Farmers Union Insurance Bison Football pregame show. you got the Coaches Show on Sunday as well, 1030 a.m. on KX4. Stick around. we got our friends from G3 coming up right after this.